Hey you guys, it's Jen with the Iridescent Dragonflies and this is a short yoga practice, about 10 to 15 minutes, geared towards warming our bodies up in the springtime. In the spring, we've come from long, dark, cold winter. We're moving into warm days, but maybe we're not quite there yet. Maybe some of the days are still a little dreary. Um, oftentimes they're wet and it's kind of, um, you know, rainy and stuff outside. So it can be a difficult transition for our bodies. And what we want to do with our physical practice is create some heat and some warmth to get through that congestion in the body, to get our bodies warmed up and ready to go, even if it's a cool, damp, dreary kind of day. So let's get started. I'm going to move back here so that you can see me a little better. And we'll start with ourselves in mountain pose with our feet right under our hips, our posture nice and tall, our palms open, our head is back in line with our spine, and we have just the best posture we can come up with today. And then let's begin to move into some nice deep breaths. We'll feel the rib cage and the belly expanding with the inhale and releasing with the exhale. So let's do a few of those breaths. Now let's begin to take that a little deeper, expanding even more for a full, complete inhale, and then releasing for a deep exhale. We feel the body really moving with each inhale and each exhale. Let's take one more, big deep inhale, and full, complete exhale. Now let's add some arm movements to this breath. We'll inhale reaching overhead and exhale releasing our arms back down by our sides. Inhaling as we lift, exhaling as we release. Let's do a couple more of those. On the next time we reach overhead, let's leave our hands lifted high and then stretch one hand up through the ceiling and then the other. We're stretching all along the rib cage from just under the arm to the top of the hip. And then we come back to the center. Let's take our arms behind us now for a chest expansion. We have two choices here, either interlacing our hands behind our back or holding on to maybe an imaginary ball behind us. And let's firm through the belly, make sure we have a nice strong support in the front, and then open up as much as we can across the collarbones, and then from shoulder to shoulder, really stretching it out in the front of the body. And then letting it relax. Let's inhale and reach overhead again. Then swan dive as we fold it in and bring our hands to the mat or the floor and then step back onto our knees so that we're on all fours. We have wrists under shoulders, we have knees under hips and let's begin to move through some cat cows. So we'll inhale our heart forward, lifting the crown of our head and then round out through the lower back. So let's continue moving through this sequence from cat stretch to cow pose and feel our spine gently warming up. Then coming back to a neutral spine, let's move into spinal balance. So we'll push one heel back. We are flexing the foot so that our toes are pointing straight down at the floor and then reaching our opposite fingertips forward. So we're creating this nice long line from fingertip to heel. Then let's bring it back to the mat and switch. So the other heel pushing back, the opposite fingertips reaching forward. So right now I have my right heel pressing back and my left fingertips reaching forward. And let's bring it back to the mat. 
Now let's move with our breath, inhaling as we reach and exhaling back down to the floor and keeping a nice lift through the core of the body as we move. So that keeps a great support for our lower back. Let's do one more on each side. And then bring it back to all fours, pressing back into child's pose, resting our hips toward our heels. Our forehead can rest on the floor itself or on top of stacked hands or stacked fists. This is going to be especially helpful if you're feeling any sort of congestion in the sinuses. So we'll take a moment to check in with our bodies here, notice how everything's feeling, and always reminding ourselves that if something doesn't feel good in the body, then we'll just move out of that pose and choose something that does feel good. And reaching our hands forward, let's fully extend our elbows. Let's pull ourselves forward into a kneeling plank pose. So shoulders are over wrists, a nice lift through the core, and then sending it back to child's. Let's move through a few more of these. So now we're warming up through the hips. We're weight bearing a little bit in the shoulders, warming up the shoulders even more. And let's do one more. And then send it back, child's pose. And now from here, keeping our arms nice and active, let's tuck our toes and lift up and back for downward facing dog. And take a couple of breaths here to pedal it out, bending one knee, stretching the opposite heel. We're stretching a little deeper into the calves. And let's press up high onto the balls of the feet and stretch out through the feet. Then let the heels relax towards the floor. And let's take some little steps up to our hands for a forward fold. Let's bend our knees a lot and let our ribs rest right on our thighs. Let our head hang down, bring fingertips to elbows, and just begin to sway and shift our weight from one foot to the other. This will help us stretch a little deeper into the backs of the thighs. And let's bring it back to the center. Releasing hands, let's bend our knees a little deeper, reach wide, nice and long through the spine and press our way all the way up, reaching overhead and then letting the arms go. Let's step our feet wide now, pointing our toes out kind of towards the corners of the room. Reach into a five-pointed star and then a deep bend in the knees as we hug our elbows in. Inhaling as we reach and exhaling as we bend. So we're warming now a little deeper into the hips. Getting even more into the shoulders as well. Then let's turn it into sunflowers now. A big circle with our hands, a deeper hinge in the hips. We're exhaling as we bend. We're inhaling as we reach. And let's do one more. And then let our arms relax down by our sides. Let's step it together, feet come together again, and let's move through a couple of rounds of sun salutations. So we'll inhale, reaching overhead, swan dive as we fold it in. Then let's step our right foot to the back into a nice deep lunge. Bend the other foot back into downward facing dog. Let's pull forward into plank pose, put our knees down, shift and lower for crocodile, and then relax all the way to the mat. 
then peeling our head and chest up for Cobra. Let's relax, tuck our toes, press ourselves up, and then back to Down Dog. Right foot stepping all the way to the top, another great big lunge. Then pressing into forward fold up at the top of the mat. A deep knee bend, let's reach wide and press up to the top in the mountain pose. Bringing hands to the tops of our thighs as we sit in a chair and return to mountain. Folding it in again. This time left foot stepping back for that big deep lunge. Then downward facing dog. Pulling it forward, plank pose. Knees come down, shifting, lowering for crocodile and releasing to the mat. Peeling ourselves up for cobra, really working the upper spine. Relaxing, tucking our toes again. Let's press up and send it back to down dog. Left foot coming forward, big strong lunge. Pressing into forward fold, a deep knee bend as we reach wide and come all the way up to mountain. Bringing arms by our sides, let's bend at the elbows and sit in chair pose and return to mountain. Let's fold it in. Right foot stepping back, big lunge, then down dog. Pulling forward into plank, knees down, shifting, lowering for crocodile, releasing, peeling up, relaxing, tucking toes, let's press up and back to down dog. Right foot stepping to the top, find that big lunge. Pressing into forward fold, deep knee bend, reverse swan diving to the top. This time, hands to our heart center as we sit and coming up to mountain. Let's do one more, folding it in. Left foot stepping to the back for a lunge. Downward facing dog. Pulling it forward into plank. Knees come down, shifting, lowering for crocodile. Releasing, peeling up for cobra. Relaxing, tucking toes pressing ourselves up and back for down dog. Left foot to the top, nice and strong in the lunge, pressing into forward fold, a deep knee bend, reversing our swan dive all the way up to mountain. Last one, let's circle as we sit and come back to mountain. Then bringing hands to our heart center. Now, hopefully, you're feeling warm right now. If not, if the body doesn't feel really warm, maybe go through one or two more rounds of sun salutations. This is intended to really get the body warmed up and ready to go. If you're feeling energized, then we have achieved our goal. I hope you guys enjoyed the practice. Be sure and shoot me an email and let me know what you think and how you can incorporate yoga into your daily life. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.